everybody uh, look what I've got the postman is just been and I just cut this open and we have a deck and it's called spirit within tarot spirit within tarot now I wanted this deck um, because of the transparent tarot this is the uh, advised tarot deck to use um, by the author of the um, transparent tarot so I'm going to do a review on this deck and it's by Stephen Bright and I've um, seen an interview uh, with Stephen and Monte and Amy from the uh, Monte and Amy are from the Enchanted T Love Tarot so uh, he seems a really interesting person right so just take off this it's a beautiful little box it's, I like the way it's done with purple and black you can dress black up or down and I just love the the purple because purple is spiritual okay so you've got a little tab and it's magnet it's quite sturdy and that is Stephen so if you would like to see Stephen then go to Facebook and go to Red um, uh, Red Feather Shiva Red Feather and there's also a special offer now 40% uh, 40% uh, off uh, any items that you uh, buy and it says Stephen Bright was born in London in 1972 while growing up writing and art uh, were his strongest skills he loved to create stories and particularly enjoyed drawing people Stephen discovered tarot when he bought his first set of cards in the mid 1990s while reigniting his clairaudience and clairvoyance they also provoked his creative interest the symbolism of both the weight and Crowley decks tarot decks became the subject for his uni uh, university uh, dissertation dissertation sorry when he graduated with a degree in fashion design in 2003 as a tarot enthusiast for many years it seemed only natural that Stephen would eventually take his interest into a professional arena as well as being the creator of two tarot decks a keen blogger a tarot reviewer and a founder of the very small print uh, Tiferet Tarot Stephen Rett reads uh, privately for clients in person on Skype and at public events he has taught three beginner beginners courses and mentor stu students individually eager to guide as many people as he can he also records short daily videos entitled tarot thoughts which offer advice and direction for those who follow his social media accounts Stephen lives in the south of England with his family and now those are the backs of the cards and this is the book and before I go to the book you've also got the uh, back of the the box this is the emblem of the red feather this is what the box looks like and the cards are $24.99 I'll leave the IB, ISBN number underneath in the description box it's a very small print deceptively simple yet deep deeply profound entirely original yet lovingly based on tradition will stimulate intuition making this an exceptional deck for strong uh, sorry for study study con uh, contemplation and divination and those are just reviews by certain people uh, tradition and contemporary art meet within the stylish tarot set bringing simplicity to your personal story 
the spirits within the shadows of your life are dancing through this symbolic collection of 78 mesmerizing tarot cards find characters from the past present and future offering reflections of your childhood and uh, or glimpses of a potential future the card silhouettes transcend age gender and eth eth ethnicity as a figure effortless morph into friends or enemies family and colleagues or even the most intimate aspects of yourself they provide a mirror for your intuition and act as a light to follow each of the 78 car, uh, tarot voices are described within accompanying book uh, handbook along with keywords and meanings a road map for the seeker the symbols set in a world we can call or identify with are easy to interpret and recognize as traditional this long-awaited deck is your traveling companion whether a beginner or a seasoned reader for the journey ahead wow um, it, the print for me is, is uh, a little bit too small even although I've got glasses but beautiful the book is quite thick and it's very small and the cards are color beautiful I suppose they look like the cards themselves and it is very very simple I don't want to bend it. if it's paperback I don't want to bend it too much but here the writing is much bit clearer okay it's dedicated you've got a page of dedication and then you've got all the major arcana and then you go into the a minor arcana the ones the pentacles uh, let's have a look the cups and the swords but I find the printing very very small then you've got the preface the major arcana it's really nicely done and yes you can travel with this literally you can carry it in your handbag because it's quite small so it's, if you're a beginner then this book is really handy uh, because you can uh, learn um, whilst you're uh, on the road literally on your journey and you've got the uh, color picture I'm the one who has all of this is the magician I'm the one who has all the tools necessary for success I have the ability to manifest dreams within the world but I can also use my power to manipulate so that is a short version of what the card means and then uh, a figure stands it, it just describes the 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 picture a figure stands with one hand pointed up and one directly down so and then it says the magician asks you to uh, also a suggestion here so that's a task you, you can give to your querent or for yourself the magician asks you to consider your skills and power you have everything you need to succeed if you wish to make your dream a reality this card suggests that now is the time and then keywords so this is the task at hand I think that's really well done in such a small book power manifestation potential and action and that's for every single card let's see what they do with the uh, yes they've got the same for the small arcana so let's have a look at the back the ten of pentacles the king of pentacles and you've just got position one just one spread just shows you one spread and this is what I call the star spread but here it's called the spirit cross is a spread I use within some of my professional readings and public videos it enables a reader to gain and underst an understanding of the situation within the uh, time frame but also provides a guidance from, from spirit you've got one two three 
four, five. Okay. Everybody does it differently. One represents the focus of the spread. What is the subject the spirit wishes to address? Position two to be turned last. So you have to read one, three, four, five, and then the two is the last. Rep um, position three. It represents uh, the influences of the past on the subject, then you've got four, represents the present, the current situation with reference to the subject, five, provides a look into the potential outcome of this subject. Okay, and potential two, which is the last one, in the fertile commas, to be turned last, represents guidance from spiritual realms. So that is my, the future. Okay. So five is the potential uh, provides uh, potential outcome, and two uh, represents guidance from spirit. Okay. Well, it's slightly different than mine, but everybody does it their own way, and then you've got a conclusion. The tarot um, is a symbolic language. It is a tool for definition and reflection, but above all, it can be true, confident, however you choose to use this book of cards. It will always wait faithfully, ready to impart its wisdom. All you need to do, dear reader, is to open your heart, listen without judgment, and lay trust in the secrets it whispers. Beautiful. I love it. And this looks like the Lion King. I love it, I love it, I love it. So simple. Okay. Let's have a look at the cards. They're glossy. That's the back and that's the front. They, they are quite small, so people with small hands uh, is a, a good s deck. Uh, let's have a look at the cardstock. It's quite sturdy, and, but yet still uh, flexible enough. Yes. Let's have a look. I'll sh do the shaking afterwards, because I like to start right from the beginning. I'm going to turn them over because the big arcana is at the bottom. So, yes, they were stuck. So, this is what I do with all decks. The presentation of the box. I forgot that as well, didn't I? No, I didn't. It's purple inside. Again, the spirituality comes alive. I might have to stop the video and see how it goes. Yes, I have to stop the video. Sorry, I'll be back in a minute. So I'm back again. I just had to separate them a little bit um, because uh, they they are not gilded on the side, so they're edgeless. That's very nice as well. They're not numbered. The bigger color, so you uh, th this could be. Uh, um, slightly difficult for uh, the beginners um, that they cannot learn uh, what number the cards are. Okay, there's um, 21 cards in the big uh, arcana. So we start off with the full and it's really very basic. Now I like that about the basic stuff because then you can th no other uh, interference when you use the um, transparent tarot and that's why I like it. It's just like layered um, with colors but it's the, the figures are just silhouetted. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, the High Priestess. They have got the name underneath. You can see how thick the cards are. Okay, the Emperor. Then we've got the Hierophant. And again, the, per the people aren't so significant because this is supposed to be the hierophant and then the two priests. But 
but it's the building that is standing out. The lovers. The chariot. It's on a skateboard. It's really also very modern. And that's the Lion King. It, um, they're so simple, but the imagination, the intuitivity is working so simple. The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. I think that's brilliant. I wonder whether these are made by the computer or whether they literally and figuratively got people to pose for uh, the cards and make a photo. Death. Temperance. Like the disco. DJ. Very well thought through really. The devil. The tower. The star. This looks well, like white on the uh, camera, um, but it's literally a, a, a lighter shade of pink, because the background is pink. The moon. Again, this is pink, that's purple. So it might the the true colours might not come out on the camera properly. The sun. Judgment. And the world. And here it is a man, the shape of a masculine body instead of the lady. Okay. Now we're going on to the wands. The ace of wands. Two of wands. The three of wands. Boats are coming in. They are slippery. Four of wands. I wonder how they will be when I'm shoveling them. The five of wands. The six of wands. I like the way he's interpreted modern city, but an old fashioned uh, way of the, the traditional card, really, the idea but in modern clothes. Here you are, you can see the t-shirt, the seven of wands. The eight of wands. The nine of wands. The ten of wands. The page of wands. The Knight of Wands, no horse. It looks like the same man because of the same hairstyle, but it uh, like he's um, he's sitting here. I think it's showing the status or of, of, of the height of the page and the knight. So. You, you must get used to these cards because they're the same figures, these two. Then we've got the Queen of Wands with her cat. Lovely. And then the King of Wands. Okay. Then we go on to the Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Dove of Peace. Nice touch. The two of one a cups. The three of cups, the disco. Yeah. Uh, the four of cups. The five of cups. The 
the six of cups you've got the six cups there very clear I might just make it a little bit bigger for you there you go perhaps that's better the seven of cups the eight of cups the nine of cups the ten of cups again you can see the difference the old man and the younger man the ten of cups the page of cups the little fish jumping out very nicely done the knight of cups the queen of cups and the king of cups I might as well do it that way so now we're going on to the swords the ace of swords two swords he hasn't crossed this uh, chest so ah that is really the, 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 you could see the meaning the three of swords broken heart with the plaster on it very modern four of swords the other three are there the five of swords The Six of Swords and also uh, what I've just seen now is the Seven of Swords is in white but it's in uh, a shaded color be, uh, behind it if you know what I mean shadow Eight of Swords that was the Seven of Swords the Eight of Swords the Nine of Swords Ten of Swords, Page, Knight, the Queen. Yes, I like that. She's thinking. Thoughts, communication, writing, and the King. Beautiful. And then we have the pentacles. The swords are green, as you can see, but the pentacles are also green. The ace of pentacles, the two of pentacles, the three of pentacles. I thought that would have been grey or um, blue, bluer than the purple of the cups, instead of green. Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and this card is stuck. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles sewing machine really nice the nine of pentacles the ten of pentacles happy families I like the English touch as well the whippet okay the page of pentacles football Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Right, let's see what they feel like when you shovel them. Oh yes, they shovel really nicely, um, but they are still uh, new, of course. So I 
Okay, they shuffle really nicely. And the size is also very nice. Okay. The stock is really good. It's really good quality. I like the stock to be is a bit sturdier. And this is a really good stock. Yes, I can't do it th that way. <laughs> well, if you follow me, then you know that I always make a comment about it. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to do also a proofreading um, with the transparent tarot. All right, I'll just do past, present, and future. The Six of Swords, right. Now, just stop the video a minute. Right, I've got my transparent tarot, and now I'm going to. I've got the red background, so it might be a little bit <coughs> um, tough to see with the red, because I usually use a white background because you get the white cloth. Right, I'll use that one. So. I'm dying to see this. I've been waiting for this so long. Okay, now you've got the page of ones. So the page of ones means news. We all know that. The five of cups arguing. So perhaps you might be waiting on news uh, about an argument from the past. Crying over spilled milk. I don't know. Perhaps you might have. Well. It's starting to work again. I won't go into it too deep. And then the, the Six of Swords moving away. So, um, yeah, well, this is how what happens. Um, you might have been thinking um, about an argument that happened uh, recently. If this was a querent coming to me, and that's what I would say. And you might have written a letter or tried to communicate. Now this person might be communicating back with you so that you can carry on and move to quieter shores. So simple. And we have the... Um, let's have a look. Uh, like I said, it was very difficult to see with the, the, the white... <coughs> without the white background. And this is the Four of Cups should say four somewhere. No, it doesn't. Sorry. But um, you can see quite clearly it's the four of cups. So if you um, put that on to that card... It's so slippery! <laughs> okay, let's have a look. That is what it will look like. You can see it just fits the card really nicely the page of ones and that's I just the first time I've got them together so you can just line it up here and it fits the card perfectly so there could be news somebody might be thinking news um, might be too much in his head thinking uh, the four of cups means uh, don't be in your head come into action, don't be depressed. So there might be news coming in uh, to cheer you up again, but you must be able to see it, what's happening around you. So to see what the news or signs are, then we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Five of Cups. And so the Ace of Pentacles is right on top of this person that is looking back. Okay, um, perhaps he could be the Ace of Pentacles means a new start, of course, and is also looking towards this person. So there could be a new uh, start in a partnership, I would say, because this is Pentacles. This is how I would translate it. Um, or there could have been something about money in the past and now you didn't see it coming that um, 
then something might have gone wrong. Let's see what happens. Yes, you could have moved away from um, the new job or uh, something to do with a partnership with money. You l might have lost the money in partnership because you didn't see uh, other offers coming in because you were too busy or fixated with this other person from the past. And then we've got the High Priestess. Okay, the High Priestess. The Book of Knowledge. And that's the uh, triple moon. That's uh, the moon symbolizing the High Priestess. So you can just put it down and look how beautiful. The sun is rising and the moon is um, right on top of it. So this is really nice. Let's have a look. So you can't do one without the other. This is, this is how I interpret it. Um, you are moving to quieter waters with the knowledge of the past on how to earn money, how to see things, how to stay out of your head and get depressed. So really, really fantastic. This is really a lot. And this is how I'm going to do the next week's readings. I love it. Okay. You might need knowledge to travel if you're going on holiday or how to move on because you've now, you, you might not have had the money in the past, but you're receiving news or you've got the job, you've got the promotion, you've got the news that you've got a promotion because once is a work action and you're moving into money and now you can move home, uh, do expansion. Beautiful. I really, really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. And this is how you can layer them. Um, I'm not finished yet because I'm just taking a few t transparent uh, cards again. Now, this is, I might be a bit difficult to see, but let's see. We've got the full here. Okay. So let's have a look. And to layer. Now, look, that is what's, this is, would be the third layer. And I would say, look at this. You've left it behind. It's behind the butterfly. You've spread your wings. Gorgeous. When, once you receive this news, you have spread your wings. Do you see how beautiful that is? I will zoom in a little bit. there. Perhaps you can see it better now. Now, we've got the Five of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. So you might have lost money or you might have lost something in the partnership, whatever. Something from the past. You're looking back. So don't look back to the past because you've still got two cups. Now, where can I see the two other cups? There's only three here. So I think the two cups are here but very difficult to see because the print is over it. Okay. Now we've got the um, Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Let's have a look. This number could be six. One, two, three, four, five. No, five. Five of Cups. You, I hope you can see it. You've got the Five of Cups, the first card. Then you've got the Ace of Pentacles. And now you've got the Five of Cups again. So that's quite magical. Okay. So it's behind him. He's not seeing the other two cups. But this is behind him if you line it up. So uh, feeling regret or uh, thinking about the past, um, feeling disappointed or whatever, is past now, okay? Because the ace came in and it's definitely pointing out here that it is in the past. But you have to come out of your head and see the two cups that are standing there, okay? 
that you you find it also difficult to come out of this feeling also so if you are like that and if this would be a reading then I would suggest to the the querent um, uh, seek help seek help and now we've got the lovers okay and look at that it oh, that's really magic you've got the moon you've got the Sun from the uh, spirit within tarot then you've got the high priestess which is the moon and now you've got the yin and the yang and the heart and the heart is encapsulates um, the um, Sun the moon and the yin and the yang finding your balance and you're going on your way you've learned you listening to your intuition this is also your heart the heart shape you're listening to your heart you're listening to your intuition and you're moving on in balance Wow do you see how magic that is I think it's amazing I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review and if you would like to see the review um, then you're more than welcome to pop back and you can also see the review on the transparent tarot and the box looks like this for the transparent tarot um, with the spirit in uh, the spirit within tarot by Stephen Bright and the transparent tarot is by Emily Carding you can see that in the um, playlist okay reviews Okay, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.